you always hear about you know easy dent removal and things like that, but does it really happen? Okay, so we're gonna say this area right here looks relatively unabused at this point. Abused away, yeah. That's a nice dent there. That hurts, okay. Now, how do we get that out? So the first thing you need to do is, is turn on the device here. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of different ways to set that. So we have first a 0.5 setting and the 1.0, and that's what we use for a paintless dent reduction of, of dents like that. The dent, traditionally for this type of tool, as a one and only tool you're gonna use would be for a soft dent, shallow dents. So if it happens to be a sharper dent, you can crank that all the way over to 100%. Your fingers are the one that'll control the timing in that sense. So the automatic timer at a half second or one second is the safest way for a paintless dent removal with this device. So Jan will go over with this tool. Here we go. Now, he's holding it over the dent, right around it. Now, oh wow, look at that. Cut it out, cut it out. Paintless dent removal, that's part one. That is amazing. Can we see some other stuff? Sure. You know, you have a huge bumper, and, and like, again, you're at a parking lot, he could be anywhere, and, and somebody backs into your car, whether it's a, you know, a Prius or a Scion or anything, pretty much so many cars have these one piece wrap around real pretty bumpers, and the bumper could be okay, but all of a sudden it's hanging off because a little clip like that has been broken. Yeah, or a car wash, which is another real famous one, too. So typically what will happen is that a lot of times the shops in the past, they've had to replace the entire bumper. Right. So when you get to that situation, now you're painting the entire bumper, and now you're blending two or three other panels on the car. So that's a pretty expensive repair process, yeah. like you talked about before. So when you're just repairing the tabs on the back side, sometimes that doesn't even need paint. But let's say it's on the front side. Right. The idea is reducing the severity of the repair. That's kind of our core concept and mantra for the company. We take damage, repair in the least invasive process, keep that contained, so it doesn't become this over excessive you know, consumption of time and dollars. Right. So this is one of those things. So we're able to recreate those clips, for example. Now, I saw on the other side here, as we kind of look back, you know, for tears or people come right in and give it a big shot, right down here on this side, and this is a common, common thing you see from shopping malls. People give you a good, good punch in the bumper, and all of a sudden you got this big slice here. Yeah, or, or a lot of times that can happen just with a parking block, so sometimes not even somebody else's right. fault. Right. So yeah. you'll get that snag and tear. We have a couple ways to repair this, but the first is to go through the backside. Mm -hmm. So we'll use one of those stainless steel staples, right. look, we call them tacks, mm -hmm. and that way it'll reinforce this before you do any welding. The second stage is to go from the backside and basically weld your first bead, and that's your structural reinforcement. When you come back and do the front side of it now with that same process, that's your filler material. So then after that, they'll sand it, feather edge it, and it's ready for prime and paint. Right, and we have a proprietary skim coat for that as well. You always see something that's you know, just truly amazing at SEBA, and this is certainly no exception. Thank you so much. Appreciate Great to see you, Brian. Likewise. Unbelievable, once again, this is just really, really groundbreaking stuff.